maybe in school at the moment, in year 10, and wondering why you're starting to be seen for careers guidance. You've got ages till you finish school, so why do you have careers advisors working with you at this point? As a careers advisor, I'm here to tell you why this might be taking place. So, here we go. It's the summer, and uh, the sun is out, generally, the flowers are blooming, and uh, we're getting ready to go out there on our water sports and do all the great things that we do in the summer. So why on earth are your careers advisors seeing you in school? Well, let me take you through the timeline. Basically, applications for most colleges and sixth forms will start from around about October. So this is for Kent and Medway, okay? You'll be applying for around about October, normally after the October half term. And around about that time, loads of the colleges and loads of the schools will have open days where you can go and have a look around to see what's available. For many of these schools, particularly the sixth forms, the deadline for application will fall in around about December or January. So that means that's when you have to get your applications in by. For many of the colleges, they will start interviewing for their courses from around about January, but the application period will carry on a bit later. That's generally how it works for a lot of the colleges. However, there are some colleges where there is a massive shortage in terms of space. So if you do make a later application, you might not get the place for the course that you want. So it's advisable to get an early application in. Now, if we work our way back from this, our reign as careers advisors is to provide careers guidance for you guys, um, which is independent and uh, where we're not going to tell you what to do, where we're going to help you to make decisions about what you do want to do in the future. And it's also confidential. All being well, you will be seen by a level six independent careers advisor, either employed by your school or employed by a third party. Like, for example, I'm employed by CXK and I spend my days going to loads of different schools working with lots of different students, as do many of my colleagues. And you'll be able to recognise us by our CXK logo on our badges. Now, to help us to support you, what we started to do with many of our schools is find out a bit about you already. So we might have uh, sent out surveys, depending on the schools that you're in, to see what you're interested in. And then what starts to happen, so around about now in the summer, we start to see some Year 10 students. Normally, after the May-June half term, that's where a lot of this work starts to kick off, and you might have some assemblies, some presentations and some workshops, building on the stuff that you've already done in the school with regards to careers. So these sessions might be one-to-one or they might be in small groups, but we will start working with you and seeing you. We then have the summer holidays and the summer holidays is a great opportunity for you to get some work experience if you need that, if you're looking for an apprenticeship, because that might help you get an apprenticeship later on down the line. So make use of the summer holidays if you can. Now, coming back in September, we will keep working with you. You'll be year 11 then. So from around about September through to around about December, January, we start to really hit those interviews where we start to see you and work with you. Now, in some schools, they're going to be called career interviews. We're not actually interviewing you as if for a job. We're just talking to you, but that's what some schools call them. In other schools, they might be called career sessions or career discussions, but in each of them, you'll be seen by an independent careers guidance advisor. And if you're not sure if they're independent, you can always ask for their credentials and ask what level are they qualified to so for all of us at CSK we're qualified to level six or above and that's what you'd be expecting and that means pretty much the same level as a teacher in terms of our knowledge and our background in supporting young people crucially we won't tell you what to do that's really really important because it's your decision because it's your life however we might ask you questions because we don't want you to miss out on any opportunities now that's not because we're trying to steer you down a certain path No, it's just because we don't want you to miss out on things. So we'll ask you questions to help you to explore. But ultimately, it's going to be your choice about what you want to do. We will then help you with applications that's needed alongside the school staff. So they'll be able to help you making those applications. And we'll also encourage you to go to Open Days to have a look around at different sixth forms and colleges so you know what's out there. And if you're making apprenticeship applications, support you with that. Now, for many of the apprenticeship applications, although apprenticeships are advertised all year round, the big peak period for you guys will be in around about March. That's when many of the applications, many of the vacancies um, open up for those who want to go and start an apprenticeship for when they finish year 11. So that is really where things start to ramp up. But before that, it's really important if you know anyone who could take you on to become an apprentice that you start talking to them. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. That's what the work's going to involve, basically to help you with your next steps. The crucial thing to remember is that when you're doing your sixth form and college applications, you can apply to more than one place.
place. And this is really, really important. You can apply to more than one place to keep your options open. So if you don't get into, say, one college or another or one sixth form or another, you've got another place as a backup. So many students will probably apply to around about two or three places, but you can apply for more than that if you want to. We'll also, later on, as we start to get into the interview time when you start to actually be interviewed by sixth forms and colleges, normally from around about January onwards, we can then help support you with uh, to prepare for those as well. If you're going to go for an art-based course, you might need to prepare a portfolio of work. If you're going for a drama or music course, you might need to prepare an audition, and we'll be helping you to prepare for that as well, um, alongside your teachers. Again, making sure that you're ready for what you want to do. Anyhow, so I hope this gives you a good starting point so you know what's happening and why, but also why we're starting to see you now in the summer for careers guidance okay all the best and good luck with next year